And there's nothing reasonable about this. As you pointed out, it's it's absolute garbage because Israel is not, not only not a uh, threat to Canada, it's one of the uh, few friends in the Middle East that we have that we can count on. And for them to, to, to walk around like this and make these kind of comments, they're just asking for trouble. They're just asking made more and more irrelevant. And that's the part I don't think they understand. Yeah, it's funny. It I, it bear, it brings to mind sort of the the reverse of one of Margaret Thatcher's um, maxims, and and that was she she used to say, you know, if 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 you're if you have to go around saying having power is like being a lady, if you have to go around saying that you have power, you don't, <laughs> and so. You know, if you have yeah, to go around claiming true. to be a lady, telling everyone you're a lady, you probably aren't. And so, you know, to take that sort of idea and, and put it in reverse, um, when it comes to this whole thing with the NDP, you know, if you have to run around telling anybody, everybody that you're not an anti-Semite or that your party's not anti-Semitic, uh, you probably are. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing with racism. Like if somebody goes running around, I'm not a racist, I'm not a racist, look at all my black friends or all my Asian friends. Well, guess what? By definition, then you are because you're making what they look like and where they come from an issue. If you weren't if you weren't uh, a racist or if you didn't care about these things, it would never cross your mind to mention it. Absolutely. So, you yeah. know, I, and this is why uh, that's why they never get above five, five or ten points in the polls. Oh, they they've been pretty close to to fifteen and twenty percent before, and, and you know, you know, speaking as a partisan conservative, um, uh, and, and I don't often speak as a partisan conservative these days for a number of reasons, but as a part of partisan conservative, I'm happy when the NDP is inching up in the polls because a strong NDP is usually very good for uh, the conservative party, uh, you know, of which I. Um, remain a member. Why? I don't know sometimes, but but I'm still a member of the Conservative Party. So, federally. I don't know. I think I'm a member of the Provincial Progressive Conservative Party. And God, God help me, I wish that they would pass a constitutional amendment to get rid of that progressive part of their name. I, it just drives me absolutely bonkers when I think about it. <laughs> It's well, sort of like I have a feeling you're not going to see that happen anytime soon. It's I, it's it's sort of like you know what every time they go, I'm a conservative, but I'm a progressive conservative, and it reminds me, you know, I'm going, ah, oh, you mean like as if to say conservatism, like alcohol, is a vice to be tolerated only in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, that seems to be the attitude, doesn't it? And they don't understand that uh, if you want to carry the alcohol analogy out, uh, if you have too much mix with your with your alcohol, you're going to wake up with a heck of a hangover. Uh, the best a, way to consume a good whiskey is pure. Yeah, that, As in other, you don't put mix in it. You just drink it. That pure. is, and 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 the, the term for that is neat. <laughs> um, you know, and That's I hadn't right. I hadn't thought of that analogy, but that is quite right. You know, it's. It, you, you're, if you drink too much of anything alcoholic, you're going to get yourself into trouble. But you're going to get yourself into bigger trouble faster if you're mixing your alcohol with different, you know, different alcoholic be beverages. So you know, stick to the same thing. But yeah. Anyway. Now we're not condoning drinking, by the way. Oh no, we're not no. Not condoning drinking. No, we don't it's condone just, drinking. Just no. using that as an analogy. No, I just want to make sure you're to excess I'm, moderation. Uh, only drink in moderation. Yes. That's right, and drive responsibly. Yes, and, and operate drink your, responsibly. Operate your tractor on the farm responsibly. Absolutely. Yeah, and we're not going. There. We're not going. You know, there. I'm going to get into on a tractor. And then, yeah, good idea. Let's just leave that layer right there. So, in a nutshell, that's the NDP for you. It doesn't surprise me. This is a party of, uh, uh, of what's his name there, Sven Robinson who was a little bit light-fingered around diamond rings and thought a good way to raise money for the party was to have his uh, 
take all his clothes off, have somebody take a picture of him on the ocean coast and then cover the picture with removable seashells. And you could either pay $5 to have the uh, a shell removed or you could pay $5 to have one put back. I think they had to quit because he was buried under a sea or under a mound of seashells. I- I, you know, do you remember that? I do remember that, and I. Why didn't I remember that? Yeah. That that I guess the image is know, just too I'm disturbing. I guess the image is just too disturbing. Yeah. It's, it, I, well, I blocked it from my me, memory. That's what a lot of other people thought too. <laughs> that's what a lot of other people thought too. So, you know, it's <laughs> funny. Instead of taking them down, they were putting them up to cover him up. Yeah, it's funny because Nick, as you were saying that, <laughs> oh I was thinking God. to myself. You know, maybe I shouldn't be so surprised that the NDP, you know, is spending its time on anti-Semitism because uh, otherwise, you know, they might be spending their time raising money this weird way. Oh, my goodness gracious. I totally forgot about that. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know what else I could say now. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say that I'm glad the NDP are having a good time. I'm glad that they're enjoying their convention, and I'm glad that nobody's paying them any attention at all outside that party. Uh, the only people who would be are the liberals, only be so they can pat them on the head and say, you guys just keep doing what you're doing. You just keep passing all these bills we want you to pass, make sure we maintain our minority government status, and treat, act like we have a majority, and thank you very much. Here's a lollipop. They're about the only people who would who would care what the NDP have to say, or certainly uh, what their policies are. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, I'm just looking. Oh, Mark Philippe, good evening, everyone, has joined us in the chat room. I'm very happy. Mark, oh, yes. good to okay, see you. Sorry, good to see, see you in the chat room, Mark. So, uh, and, oh, by the way, but yes, it's- just, just while I'm thinking of it, um, uh, you know, Another shout out to our good friend and one of our best buddies and best fans, Robert. <laughs> Who never joins us in the chat room. That's okay. What's up with that? I don't know. Robert, when you listen, can you please let us know why you're not in the chat room anymore? So, uh, but I just yeah, wanted to, we, I'm going to we, have to start doing this on a weekly basis. You know, a shout out to Robert, our our biggest fan. Well, we'll have a competition and see if somebody can knock him off the perch. Oh, okay, you heard that, Robert. Become our number one fan. You heard that, Robert. Yeah, and I'm hoping everybody else heard it, too. It's now that those were fighting words, Robert. <laughs> so, yep. Okay. I regret that, but there you go. Okay, so NDP, the NDP convention. Okay, um, I don't know what else to say to it, except that... Uh, yeah, that's it. I finished. I don't know. I, there's nothing else I could say about the NDP convention that I haven't already said. So there it is. Uh, I'm just All looking right. at the time. Mm-hmm. We're um, coming up on the top of the hour. So I think what we will do, uh, since I just lost Nick, so uh, what we'll do is uh, we're going to go for a commercial break. So if you are listening to the podcast, uh Thank you for listening and join us on Monday morning for part three of this week's episode. And if you are listening live, stay put. We will be back in a few minutes on the Nick and Joe show on thinkradio.ca. (laughs) 